And then a week later, I think more or less, I get banned from Patreon. So, um, and they said, you have to delete your interview with Robin Monotti and Dr. Mark Circus, who's a cool guy. He lives down in Brazil, alternative. He's like kind of like a Mercola type. They said, delete those two interviews from the entire internet. We don't want to see it anywhere on the internet. And if you don't do that, you sorry, we can't. You're, you're terminated from Patreon. And so it just remained frozen like that um, until last year. And it, it, it had been in its frozen state until the last year. And I just terminated the account because I couldn't use it. It said under review. Uh, and so there was that. And then April of 2022, when they rolled out this information governance board, and you know, you're mm -hmm. familiar with the Nina Yankowitz. Oh, yes. that we yeah. that week, um, I got a, I got banned from PayPal. Uh, and it was Consortium News, Mint Press News, myself, and I think Caleb, Caleb Maupin, who does work for RT. And I got a message from Kim Iverson. She covered that on the Hill. Uh, she showed my screenshots with my name and geopolitics and empire. Uh, and then that was right before she left the Hill. And then Matt Taibbi, I got a DM from him asking me about it. And I, uh, I, he mentioned that in his sub stack. And then, then later I realized, you know, Mike Benz, a little, a lot of people are familiar with Mike Benz yeah. um, through his foundation for freedom work, looking at some of his documents. Then I put two and two together. So I explained to people like it's uh, when you read the stuff, then you read this, then I understood what really happened. It was the DHS and their sub agency, I think called CISA mm -hmm. DHS told PayPal to ban us. And that's why when I log into my PayPal, it says you're a risk. You can't use PayPal anymore. They won't even let me shut it down. Like call the customer service and like, close my PayPal account. No, we can't. It's going to remain like this frozen forever. Like what the heck? And then you realize it's political persecution. So they can't say you're a political risk because that would ruin the facade that America is a democracy and liberty. And so this is like fascist, you know, Nazi Soviet style stuff. And mm -hmm. so they say, oh, you're just a risk. 